Promotional consideration paid for by the following. Hi, I'm the well dressed ref, and you're watching Cheap Shot Entertainment. Hello and welcome once again to Cheap Shot Entertainment. We have some fantastic action for you today. Going through everything that happened at Battle Brawl, as Future 27 Battle Brawl, um, in certainly in Ashfield. And obviously it was for Future Wrestling, uh, a promotion that has come leaps and bounds since... January 2018 is absolutely phenomenal now, especially in the Groven Rooms in Sutton where this one was based. Um, lots of people there, big crowd, very noisy um, wrestling and it's getting to be one of my favourites along with Aspire Wrestling and House of Pain. Now, um, may I ask, what is a battle brawl? Well, we'll get into that in the main part of the video, but in the meantime, you can click that subscribe button, like the video, share us with your friends, and join us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and the blog spot, that is cheapshotentertainment.blogspot.co.uk where you'll find a link to the t-shirt shop as well. Uh, also on the blog is some articles written by myself and my good friend the Big Boss, um, sort of giving him an outlet for his creative ideas. He did have a blog spot, I'm trying to get him to do some stuff for our blog spot, our collective blog spot, the Cheap Shot Nation. You, in fact, are the Cheap Shot Nation, so if you have any thoughts or ideas of articles that you want to get published then send them in um, I'll read through them and see what uh, what what they look like what how they read and all that kind of stuff I'm not gonna tie you to a contract I'll give you full credit for it I just like I just love independent wrestling and wrestling in general um, and love to put things up on YouTube and the interwebs. Um, so, without further ado, let's get straight into the show, get straight into the battle brawl, so to speak, and we'll go through all of the rules with regard to that. Yes. We have Josh in the studio, um, who you will see on the Aspire Wrestling Alliance video from the 18th, I want to say the 18th of August 2019. Anyway, this is Battle Brawl, and these are the rules as written down by Future Wrestling. Uh, on August 24th, obviously that was Saturday, 21 competitors will enter the Battle Brawl. Competitors will be randomly drawn, randomly, um, and compete in one singles match. One triple threat match, one tag team match, one fatal four way match, and a six man slash woman tag team match. Um, the main event will see 21 competitors, all 21 competitors, in a over the top rope battle royal. The two undrawn wrestlers will start the match at three minutes. All pinned competitors will enter at 6 minutes, the remaining losing competitors will enter at 9 minutes and half of the night's winners will enter at 12 minutes with the final winners entering just after that, I'm guessing at 15 minutes. Like I say, over the top rope, feet must touch the floor and the last man slash woman standing in the ring will become the number one contender to the future. Champion, championship and that is Battle Brawl. It was a good night overall and I'm looking forward to next year's already but let's get straight into the first match. It is a one-on-one -on -one match. It is a straight singles match. It is number 21 Jack Turner versus number 19 Rourke. And I was well happy about this because Rourke is awesome. He was playing his face persona at Future and I had a chat with him afterwards and he said it was very much a last minute thing but wow Good to see Rourke over at Future Wrestling definitely deserves that uh, that exposure. He has worked so hard and really respect the guy for doing what he does. Um, anyway, after these two big 
balls just collide into each other several times the big hard hitting moves two massive hosses just beating the tar out of each other it is Jack Turner that overcomes the power and the size of Rock hitting a power slam from the top rope Rock is sat on the top rope and Jack Turner hits a huge power slam, no mean feat on a guy the size of Rourke, and then hits a huge clothesline to win his match. So Jack Turner is the first winner in Battle Brawl, leaving Rourke to become one of the losers, coming in uh, nearly at the beginning of that Royal Rumble at the end. The next match is a tag team match. And it is number four, Troy Goose, bring him out. And his tag team partner is number one, Natalie Sykes. And they are going against number 15, Luna Rocks. And her tag team partner, who happens to already be in the ring at this point, because he has come out with Troy. It's Troy's best friend, wrestling friend, Tank. Um, so, yeah, Troy lots of antics in this match is absolutely hilarious um, Troy maintains the fact that they are ta they are a tag team it's between tank and goose uh, there's no one else that could possibly be in a tag team with goose but the match does start eventually with both of the ladies going at each other um, throughout the match there's again lots of hijinks eventually Troy goose and the tank do become a tag team and the ladies beat them up for a little bit which was hilarious and also at one point we saw Luna Rocks give Troy exactly what he wanted but then straight after he got something quite different he was enjoying a certain move um, shall we say a bit of S&M a uh, certain move from Luna Rocks and he wanted one more. The crowd indulged him in this. Um, unbeknownst to Troy, the tank did get tagged in and he delivered one last strike to the feathery bottom of Troy Goose. And that seemed to hurt. I mean, the man the size of tank hitting you anywhere would hurt but that was hilarious I love this match so much it's really really good anyway um, Natalie Sykes does eventually pick up the loss here the tank F5s her and quote my good man behind the camera here Josh she took that like a boss that F5 and it is uh, it is tank and Luna Rocks who come out on top in this match, uh, leaving Troy and uh, Natalie Sykes the losers. Uh, the next match is a fatal four-way match. It is number 14, Sam Kenny, versus number six, Dante Dwarden, someone who we haven't seen in future at this point, a House of Pain staple. Good to see him. Uh, future, good to see a lot of crossover with the promotions that we watch in the East Midlands as well. I've said that before, crossover is good, let's share that talent, let's get them all out there. Uh, number 8, Brandon Brooks, the up and comer, the 16 year old sensation, Brandon Brooks, and he is the, and the last opponent in this match is number 2, Kieran Staint, otherwise known as Scrappy Do. Um, so, lots and lots of action in this match, there is... Um, brawls on the outside, the brawls on the inside, they try and keep it to two competitors in the ring so you can keep an eye on the action, there's lots of rests, rest being had outside as well, um, but the winner is Sam Killer Kenny hitting, knee, hitting a knee to Brandon and on the back of his head knocking the young man out and picking up the victory for himself and he goes into the battle brawl later on in the rumble the next match is a six-man tag match and it is 
Number 18, Joe Cardinal. Number 13, Carl Kingsley. And number 20, David Grant. And they're going against number 11, Xander Zulu. A new face in future as of last month at Sutton. Uh, five, Hustle Malone. And seven, Brett Myers. Or as my cousin, or Zuzzy Z, would say, Magic Mike Myers. As she pronounced his name wrong doing the future ring announcing. But I'm just going to keep reminding her of that because it's funny. Um, but yeah, I understand the pressure of being a ring announcer. Um, but it's still funny. Um, anyway, um, after again lots of hijinks, obviously you've got faces and heels on both sides. Um, lots of dissension in both teams um, with the faces you know, facing off against the heels on both teams and lots of dissension. Zulu eventually picks up the win over Carl Kingsley, hitting a rope assisted face buster on the um, on the king of breaking backs, the bee's knees of breaking backs, and Zulu picks up the victory for his team, and that is Zulu, Hustle Malone, and Brett Myers. Um, next match is number 12, Ronan, versus number 10, Mark Banger Rolls, versus Morgan Black. Uh, good to see Morgan Black, someone who we haven't seen in Hope Future. He's come all the way up from Sacrifice Pro, another division of Hope Wrestling. And uh, yeah. This match, I think Morgan Black hurt himself on the way into the ring, knocking into the camera. We did get a bit of uh, dancing as well, which was really, really cool. Um, possibly to take the, I think that's probably was probably planned anyway. But uh, Morgan Black, I mean, to say he's hurt his knee, he did a Fosbury flop type mover to the outside of the ring onto the onto Ronan and Mark Banger rolls. Um, it looked nasty, it looked like he landed square on his back on the other side of the ring. I couldn't see because we were sat the opposite side, uh, but it didn't look good. But credit to him, he got back up and he continued fighting. Um, according to this, no one actually won because I didn't take notes. Um, I think it was uh, Mark Rolls who picked Mark up Rolls picked up the victory in this one. Um, so he goes into the Battle Brawl Royal Rumble later in that match, leaving Ronan and Morgan Black coming in a little bit earlier on in the Rumble match. But that is the first half of the of the Battle Brawl. The second half was the Royal Rumble. And so we then get on to the battle brawl, so to speak. It is the uh, two competitors that weren't drawn out of the box randomly. These were picked by the fans, incidentally. Um, also, I got to be the ring bell because they didn't have a ring bell. So I got to do the ring bell ding ding, uh, which was really cool. We'll mark out because that was the ring bell. Um, anyway, it is the Royal Rumble now. It's the Battle Brawl Royal Rumble. And the two remaining competitors are number 17, Dirtbag Dave Stewart. And I believe I've already had number one in Natalie Sykes. But we've got number one, Jack Tyson. So Natalie Sykes must have been uh, 21 um, rather than number one. Uh, Jack Tyson, not seen him before. He was pretty cool. Uh, and Dirtbag Dave Stewart, Dirty Bag. Um, gotta love to hate the uh, the dirty bag there, and he has this tremendous ability to make you people either love him or hate him. And at the moment, everyone hates the dirty bag. Um, but it would be Dave Dave Stewart that would actually go out first. But after three minutes of battling with Jack Ty Jack Tyson, um, beating the young young competitor up, we get the first set of competitors coming in at three minutes it is Ronan, Rourke, Brandon, Natalie Sykes and Kyle Kingsley coming in next Dirty Bag gets eliminated first out of the rumble at six minutes we get Troy 
Joe, that's Joseph Cardinal, Kieran Saint, Morgan Black and David Grant. At nine minutes we get Tank, Luna Rocks, Jack Turner, Sam Kenny and Dante Dwerden. Um, at 12 minutes, Xander Zulu, Hustle Malone, Mark Banger Rolls and Brett Myers. Obviously they are the winners of their matches. It comes down to the last four after a massive brawl. Everyone mostly gets chucked out. It comes down to the last four. It is Tank, Xander Zulu, Jack Turner and Brandon Brooks. My money was on Brandon Brooks at this point in time. Uh, being the future, literally, of professional wrestling. But it would come down to Jack Turner and Brandon Brooks um, who... Uh, would be left in the ring after Zulu and the tank get eliminated. I would have had, I would have loved Tank to be the um, to become the number one contender at this point. Gotta love the tank, Jackson Baines. But it was Jack Turner, a veteran in the squared circle and been around since day one of future. Um, who would pick up the win and he is going to have a match a number one contendership match with the current champion current future champion Bjorn the Viking Bjorn and uh, yeah that match is going to be huge that match is going to be absolutely fantastic looking forward to that not sure when that is going to be perhaps going to be at the next Sutton show but either way it's going to be fantastic but what a concept battle brawl um, it reminded me a lot of the casino battle royal um, that AEW did but we had matches to determine who was going to come in at what times so I mean that just this the concept of it it was different and I really really enjoyed it and some of the matches were absolutely hilarious gotta love a bit of comedy in in your wrestling and that is certainly what we do love at future as future fans um, but yeah really top-notch show looking forward to the next show the next show in fact is on the 1st of September that is at Shirebrook welfare we are watching um, NXT UK TakeOver Cardiff, watching AEW, we're possibly watching New Japan as well. So we're going to have a weekend packed chock full of wrestling goodness, possibly going to Shirebrook. Don't know, we'll see how we feel. Uh, but if we do, you can guarantee that we will be reporting on it. And so that is your review of Future 27 Battle Brawl took place in the Grosvenor Rooms, certainly in Ashfield, on the 24th of August 2019. And it was a tremendous show. Everyone I, looked, everyone I talked to after the show said how good it was. Really good concept. Keep it going. Uh, we love these new ideas here on Cheap Shot Entertainment as wrestling fans. Anyway, like I say, that is everything that happened. If you want to go and see a future show it is seven of your English pounds to get in on the door if you buy online you save one pound at six pounds and I believe there is a you can buy both shows at uh, Sutton and at Shirebrook if you buy them together you get a discount as well um, but yeah really good show looking forward to the Jack Turner and Bjorn match as well in the future and uh, yeah that is everything so join us on twitter facebook instagram join us on the blog spot at cheapshotentertainment.blogspot.com link to the t-shirt shop there get some merch from there wear a hat wear a t-shirt and check out the articles there like i say again if you've got any ideas for articles send them my way we'll get them up on the cheap shot blog spot um and that like I say, is everything. You are the Cheap Shot Nation. This 
is now Phantasmo t-shirt from WrestleCrate in August 2019. You can check that video out as well, the unboxing. We actually did that outside, which was really fun. Um, and uh, I've been your host, Luke. And thank you for watching. We'll see you again very soon. Goodbye.